I think they're such gorgeous creatures. Keep them out of that timber. And I get my fish back. That's awesome. Oh, what oh, were you saying again? All right. <laughs> Canadian Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala Premium Fishing Gear, crafted from experience. Yamaha on the water. This is my Yamaha. What kind of Yamaha are you? Dickies, a legend in work since 1922. Lucky Strike, more fish fight with a Lucky Strike. Big tree. Oh, oh, there's a take. Whoa. You have to horse him out of there. Got him? Yep. You got yeah, him. he's good <laughs> size. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, into the timber. That's where things get interesting. Look out. We might have to get oh, up he's close. Off. Is he? Oh. Did he? You know what? It was worth it. Just to get the hook set like that. He's under. Got him. One. Oh. <laughs> what were you saying again? All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't carry it. He was talking Whoa. about spawning, I think. Get him out of there. It's kind of hard to, to keep a conversation going. Could you have any spots that there isn't as many fish? We can talk a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think, think we're going to be in trouble. That's usually not a problem in the shows, having time to talk, you know? Because people ask me all the time, well, how long does it take you to shoot a show? Whoa. Well, if they were here, they'd see it's pretty quick. Have you gotten a look at it yet? Yeah, nice. Nice. Oh, they're, they're nice beautiful. Oh, they're all nice size. fish. This is amazing. He's pushing us into the bank, which is okay. That's okay. As long as there's no big trees Watch here. <laughs> so you really need heavy line, eh? Because uh, they'll go right for that timber. I can see that. You guys are using much lighter rods than I am, eh? Oh. You saw my stick, like eight foot. And these I don't are play around. seven, seven and a half medium action, fast tip, so yep, they can yep. inhale the bait with little resistance. How heavy a line? Uh, 20, 20 pound. pound. Braid? Yep. Braided yeah, line, yeah. Good. Six pound diameter. Yeah, for around the wood and stuff, I think the braid is really good. Also for yeah. hook sets. Yeah, if they're no really stretch. tight to timber, we'll step it up to 30 pound, but usually 20s yeah. more than enough. Ooh, it's a nice one. This you one's know, a male. Can you tell they, he's that blue color? Yep. Yeah. There's got to be a lot of fish right. in the tributaries when you can get them like this one after the other. Oh, yeah. there is. Seems like this may be a fresh pod from the lake. It might be. I mean, we've got perfect conditions. Jeez, we've got a lot, eh? Now, maybe you should share with, with the viewers the timing thing, because it is a timing thing, right? It yeah, is. timing so can be tricky on these like, tributaries. So, should we give give them one of your secrets? Why did you choose today of all days? Well, we've had uh, For, probably about a week or two of warm weather, like really warm weather. Yeah. And I'd say maybe two weeks ago, the water temperature is around 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. And within that week or two of hot weather, it jumped up to about 60, 65. Yeah. And that's all the difference in the world, eh? The fish may be in here when the water's cooler, but yep. they just won't be, a, be as aggressive. They're very sluggish. It takes them a long time to, to take the bait. You can tell about the moon? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we're a day before <laughs> the, the full moon. Secrets. That's right. <laughs> well, that always helps. Well, for yeah. fish, especially fish that tend to be nocturnal, like uh, channel cats. I mean, we're catching them during the day, but you can get these fish at night as well. All it night. just doesn't make for as nice a filming because you don't see anything other than the fish in the person's face. That's right, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, the full moon has a powerful effect on bigger cats. Fish the moon times and right spot, right bait. Now, how long have you guys been using slip offers? Almost just a year. We just started using them. Man. Last year, around the spawn in so July. Was it was it the cash, pocket cash, that you were using too much terminal tackle in the wood? Or <laughs> That's or part of it. <laughs> That's the problem that, with, with fish in these tributaries. There is a lot of uh, fallen trees and timber in the water. so. By setting your bait shallower, suspended beneath the float, you do save a lot of tackle, save okay. a lot of time. Well, there, there's the rig that we're using. There's the chunk of sucker meat, white sucker. And this isn't just ordinary sucker. This is treated probably better than you would fish that you would be eating at home. 
<laughs> if you don't mind hanging me one of those vacuum packs, no. I'm just going to show them how nicely you vacuum pack the fish. I mean, look, I don't even, I, you know, I put my fish in a Ziploc. This is like <laughs> vacuum. There's no air in there. They're frozen. They're cut in the right chunks. They're probably washed off nicely. Fresh. A good reason everything. for that is we don't get any sucker juice in the freezer, though, too. Yeah, you see, <laughs> yeah. you earn brownie points. Also, I see there's no bones. So yeah. You actually fillet the sucker. Yeah, you fillet them. You know that you can't eat them, right? If you got the fish. I've heard that. Suckers, especially the little chunks. Little Smoked, bit of fish crisp, sucker. Yeah. I think I'll stick to the perch. But anyway, so they use a piece that's about two or three inches long, about an inch wide, maybe half an inch to an inch thick. You want to make sure that the hook is exposed because when that catfish picks it up, if it's a bigger fish, you'll probably engulf it in one or two bites and then you got to set the hook. So in this case, they've got a swivel because this thing does twist and turn and this acts like a leader. In my case, I'm using fluorocarbon for that little section. So they got a swivel, a couple split shot, and then the same type of slip bobber that slides up and down that really we use for steelhead fishing or fishing for other smaller game fish or even panfish. The advantage to the slip bobber is that you can very quickly adjust your depth, but probably the most important is when you set the hook on a fish, the line goes through the float. So you're not dragging the float. And in the case of floats, my float is a pretty big white one made out of foam, it's a saltwater float. So by using a slip bobber, the float doesn't give me any resistance. And then when you're fighting the fish, you're fighting it direct, line right to fish. Dickies, sport fishing sweepstakes. So yeah, this root of a walleye was caught on the Nippon River in Saskatchewan while pre-fishing for the Vanity Cup with my brother Dennis. It weighed in at 13.5 pounds and is still swimming today as it was released. We release most of our walleyes because it's just nice to be able to catch a trophy fish like that and it's good for somebody else to have a chance to catch that same fish. We'd love to hear your fishing story. Go to our website and enter the Dickey Sport Fishing Sweepstakes. It's free and you could win some great prizes.